guys, today's mini review is going to be on some mini mates. These are Predator 2 mini mates of the Elder Predator and Battle Damage Harrigan. And these are a Toys R Us exclusive, as this little sticker will let you know. Uh, on the back of this little package, you can see the other characters that are available now. Although technically not all of them, because what they're not showing here on the back is that there is another version of Dutch where he's from the end of the film where he's got no shirt and his blood all over his chest. Uh, he also comes with a cloaked predator. Um, there's also Blaine, but I totally forget who the hell he comes with. And there's also Royce from Predators with an S. Uh, and I forget who he comes with too. I've never actually seen uh, either of those on the shelves. Or I think I might have seen Royce once and I, I didn't pick it up. And when I went back two days later, a lot of these were already gone. So, But uh, you got Rescue Mission Dutch with a Cloak Predator. It's pretty cool. I really want to get that next. Uh, and you have a Shaman Predator and Berserker Predator. I think the Shaman Predator looks pretty cool. I don't really care much for the Berserker. You got a big fat head and whatever but uh, I don't know I guess just to have them just for the sake of having more predators is always fine anyways uh, so as always they got a little uh, a little bio here so battle damaged Harrigan when the federal agency tasked with the job fails LAPD detective Mike Harrigan hunts the predator himself defeating it in battle aboard a spaceship beneath Los Angeles and for the Elder Predator, it says, The Elder of the Los Angeles Hunting Party in 1997. Um, the Elder Predator respected Detective Harrigan for defeating one of his clan and honored him with an antique flintlock pistol. You can actually see that pistol in, uh, in his waist there. Um, I don't see much in the way of other accessories, really. Sometimes... A lot of the accessories will be kind of hidden, but uh, I really all I see is is Harrigan's gun, and I can't tell if there's anything else, which would be a shame because since this is from the end of the film, uh, I feel like he should have that smart disc. I don't know. I, I don't think he kept it, right? I'm pretty sure they wouldn't let him just walk or walk walk out with it. You have to leave the they're like here. You can have the gun, but you leave our space frisbee here, uh, or something like that. I'm sure, but uh, but still, uh, it would have been cool to have. Um, anyways, so there's a lot of little detail to this predator, and if you guys have been watching my mini mates reviews, you will know that I don't have any predators mini mates. So this is me starting the the predator stuff. I was doing, uh, I was just focusing on aliens uh, and getting xenomorphs and stuff like that at first. But uh, now, now's the time to start going after uh, predator. Okay, after having played around with them a little bit, I gotta say I like these a bit more. Uh, than I did when I first got it where I felt like I felt sort of pressured I guess you could say when I first picked it up just because oh it's exclusive and I can only get it here and there's only one left and so that's why I picked it up even though that's not really what I went to the store for but now looking at them I think they look pretty great um, I really like all of the silver paint on the Predator here and all the detail of his armor. That's pretty cool. Even drawing, uh, you know, the fishnets uh, as uh, predator men are pretty kinky wearing fishnet stockings and underwear out. Um, here you can see that that old pistol that he gives to Harrigan at the end. It's too bad that it's just stuck in his belt and you can't actually let Harrigan uh, hold it as this is him from the end of the film where he eats like a bunch of powdered donuts like really really fast to congratulate himself for killing a predator or uh, it's when all the dust blows over him so since it's from the end I feel like he should be able to have the the pistol unfortunately the only accessory that these guys come with 
is uh, just Harrigan's gun, which was like a, a Desert Eagle, and then you just had like a scope attached to it. And a lot of the a lot of the characters in, in uh, Predator 2 had like uh, attachments to their guns or whatever, or just to like, I don't know, like make them look cooler and all that. Anyways, we're well, getting back to the Predator. I think they did really great. Again, I'm always impressed with the Mini Mates just for all the detail that you get for such tiny little figures. I mean, these guys are so little. Well, I guess that's why they call them Mini Mates and not, you know, big ginormous ass mates but uh all the little gold bands or whatever in his dreads just how how well they recreated like the predator armor sets you know you can see the like the fishnet shirt that he's wearing underneath the armor and then just the face <laughs> it's really cool so I really, really, really like this little predator. Um, his little gauntlet is also pretty cool too. It is not like a extendable or retractable or whatever, but that's fine. I didn't, I didn't expect that. So that's really cool. For uh, just gonna let him fall. For uh, for Harrigan here. Well, I mean, it's not like you can say that it looks like Danny Glover or anything like that, but they did a really, oops, I accidentally turned his hair, but they did a really good job of, of uh, uh, like dusting his face or whatever and, and getting that just right. And, and the same goes for his hair. That might be hard to tell in the light, but it's all over his hair as well. And then uh, of course drawing that his pants have been torn and all that. That's really neat. And uh, he has uh this strappy thing where I guess you'd put his gun well of course you can't do that but uh, it's just a nice little extra thing that they do uh, I do wish that they might have painted his gun since it's all just uh, it's just a solid piece of like mm, kind of puke gray plastic so I mean it's got some pretty nice detail to it I mean if you looked at it you're like yeah okay that's a tiny desert eagle so that's nice, but uh, if they would have painted that, that, that would have been fantastic. And it, it's the only accessory that he comes with, so I mean, come on, you couldn't put any effort into his gun? The only thing you gave him? Um, for articulation, it is standard Mini Mates fare. They can kind of look down, and they can kind of look up, and then they can look left and right. Gonna keep moving his hair around here like this. Um, and then this little ball joint at the shoulder and then a little single hinge for the elbow and a swivel at the wrist and then waist rotation and then a ball joint at the legs which actually lets them kick pretty far up and pretty far back and then a single hinge for the knee and a swivel at the foot. Uh, in the case of the Predator, he's got these thigh protection thingies. What They probably have like an official name, I just I don't know what it is. Uh, so that kind of stops his movement from coming outwards a little bit, but not by a whole lot. It does kind of stop him from moving his leg forward and from moving it back from the rest of the, the skirt piece there. But whatever, he's basically got the same articulation too. Um, there we go. Uh, that's another thing with mini mates that happens in all of my mini mates reviews is their their uh, their body parts pop off pretty easily and of course you can just easily okay to accentuate that point all of their pieces they come off uh, fairly it doesn't take much effort to to pull them apart um, although you could do that yeah now he's going commando. Uh, anyway, so the pieces come off uh, pretty easy, but of course they pop back on just as easily. And one of the funny little things is this kind of lets you um, like mix and match stuff. So if I were to, if I were to take a xenomorph, and also just to give you like a sense of scale of the xenomorphs are about a head taller than the predators, 
unless this old man is just short. But anyway, so one of the <laughs> one of the funny things that you can can do with mini mates is you can always just mix and match pieces and parts and then create really weird, crazy new kinds of mini mates. Uh, so that can always be kind of fun. You could probably take the chest burster from uh, Colonist Mary if you if you have that mini mate and put it on a predator and look like a uh, you know, like a pred alien is being born or something like that if you wanted to. And that's always kind of fun. It's a little frustrating, I guess, when stuff just keeps popping off. But uh, when you get to do stuff like this, I, I kind of don't I don't mind it. It's like a tiny little gripe. Anyways. So these were exclusive to Toys R Us. So if you wanted to get these, probably mostly just to have the Elder Predator is probably what I think most people probably want. Um, unless you really felt you really needed powder donut face hair again, probably not. Um, but uh, if you if you wanted the Elder Predator, that's that's really the main draw here. Uh, then you'd have to go to Toys R Us to. To pick it up, although it says that, so I'm sure you can order it online. I don't, I don't know. Things aren't. Things just say exclusive, but with the internet, it's kind of you can get it any place. But anyways, well, that's gonna be it for this. There's not a whole lot to say about uh, mini mates when they're accessories, or when they don't really come with accessories, and uh, and uh, their articulation being very very simple. Although some mini mates do come with lots of accessories. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends on the character or, or what. Um, I feel like maybe. Uh, Harrigan should have also came with the Predator Smart Disc. That would have been kind of cool because he could have held it in this hand. Um, but I, I don't know. I guess since this is the very, 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 very end of the film, he doesn't have the Smart Disc anymore. But whatever. I would have took the Smart Disc uh, in a, as a replacement for not letting me have the pistol. Uh, so I don't know. But instead, he came with nothing. So uh, it's too bad. Either way, uh, it's only the, they're, they're only seven fifty. Uh, maybe you might find them someplace like some hobby shops might have them for like ten dollars, but like you know like at Toys R Us and whatever, they're only seven fifty. So they're kind of nice like impulse buys of you just happen to see like some cool mini mates of something you like, whether it's X Files or whatever, and uh, that's kind of how I end up uh, picking these guys up. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, we'll maybe try and do uh, a larger. Predator review.